Derek, why don't you tell me a little bit about what it was like winning that final game at Doe Campbell Stadium your senior year? What was that moment like winning it for Odell? Um, a lot of feelings came in. One part of me saying, oh, we're going to a ball game. We're going bowling. Odell won his first game as a head coach. Being that he was my position coach, I, that made me twice as happy for him. And knowing how he is and what he stands for made me just as proud to be his, his, his um, athlete, to be his pretty much a student. How did this team respond when they named him the interim head coach yesterday? Um, I mean, how it went down, I feel like people were really still uh, real upset with, you know, Jimbo leaving. And when they saw, were announced that um, Coach Adele was the interim head coach, for me, I wasn't really surprised. I wasn't really worried knowing the type of person he is. I figured he can lead us very well. And I feel like a lot of people took that the same way. You talk about being upset when Jimbo announced that. Just what, what were your personal feelings? I mean, I wasn't I wasn't mad at him for leaving. That's that's one thing that you got to know with him. He's always been. It's always he always thinks about the team but the, and the players first. And with him leaving, I wasn't really that. I wasn't upset for him leaving. At the end of the day, he has to do what's best for his family and his career. So I wasn't really mad about that. It's just like when you've been with someone so long. First for me, I've been here for four years, and you like when that happens, you create a bond with that person. And when out of nowhere he has to, you know, when he leaves, you could be feeling, you could be hurt a little bit, knowing that you you fought, you fought through adversity with each other, ups and downs with each other, and then from just leave, you gotta feel hurt about it. But at the same time, I'm happy for him in his career, and I've always been happy for him no matter what. In his press conference with Dad today, he talked about how when you first got here, you kind of thought he was a little crazy. How has your relationship grown with these time here? Man, okay. <laughs> Man, there's some days I feel like he's still crazy. But at the end of the day, it's, all, it's always, <laughs> it's always, when he cares, he deeply cares about his players. He cares for his university. He always wants his guys to better themselves every day. So. Of occasionally, when things he act, way he acts, will be a little crazy. But at the end of the day, it's always towards the right direction. Trying to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do. Make sure you're doing the right things. Make sure, for instance, make sure you're in. For instance, for me or any defensive tackle, any player, make sure you're doing the right things on the field and on the field. He make that he cares about his players that much. That's how I see it with him. So, with me and him, it's kind of a love hate relationship. Sometimes. We'll be sometimes we cool, sometimes we not. At the end of the day, he all he's if we get an argument or something like that, there's no winning. You, you, Odell wins every single time. So I'm just with me and him, we like we I've like I've grown to respect the man after you know knowing him, listening to what he's saying. At first, when I first got here, it was just like this man's not making any sense. I don't <laughs> what what's going on. Now that's why I keep listening and listening and listening to what he's saying. Everything's starting to make sense. And at the end of the day, he always looks out for me no matter what. So I just how I see with him, it's just I respect him so much. He's the one of like a great um person to look up to. He's a great role model. And I got none respect and none but love for him. Derek, there's so much talk and there's a, even Coach Odell said it, there's a big cliche in football about family atmospheres, about being around family, but is it is Coach Odell one of those guys who actually makes his place feel like family? Of course. This man's been here for so many years. It's practically his house. Like I honestly, to be real with you, he's been here so many years. He's has that type of presence that when you need, when you meet him, you know this is a great person. Like I want him around me all the time. Someone's as that as with. So then coming here with him around here, you know, <clears throat> like him, he's more always a great attitude. How you doing? How's everything? How's the family? So when I, every time I see him, I already know it's like okay, Odell's here. Everything's all cool. If we had, if he, if I messed up, I already expect him to cuss me out. If I did something good, good job. Keep moving forward. With him, it's just like he's that. How I describe him is more of a. I just like this is like a father figure. Honestly, he just he just how he cares about everybody, and everything. He just honestly. Derek, the, the moment you guys were able to have uh, you know, the hug in the end zone by the goalpost, knowing that that was the last time you were gonna walk off that field as a player, just how special was that for both of you? Um, I don't know what to tell about how Odell was feeling with, with him. He was probably was telling me he was proud of me. Blah, blah, blah the things that I've, I've gone through right here, uh, how I felt. It's just like the same way Odell's with me. I've just, it's been a long time coming how I felt towards it. Through when I first got here, I didn't think 
why I didn't think I was good enough. I felt like everything I did was wrong. I wasn't really confident in anything I was doing. And the whole time, Odell was telling me just, like he said it without saying it, just keep doing what I've got to do and just keep pushing yourself. No matter what, if you go down, learn from your mistakes and keep moving forward. If you doing something right, learn, keep know what you did right and then keep pushing to go even do even better. And, you know, years gone by, after season after season, I try to correct myself things I've done, try to perfect everything he says that I've been messing up in, try to better myself. And that's what I, that's going on. My confidence is getting better. And I feel like, honestly, he changed my life for the better for me being here. And I'm proud to be able to play State Seminole. Regarding this game today, did you feel like you guys played a little bit differently? Was it, was it a little bit more fun out there? It just seemed like you guys were a little bit more loose than, than normal. Yeah, honestly, for once, it was the last home game of the season. Um, how Odell is, he was very amped up uh, before we went out there and <coughs> making us feeling, feeling, fueling up that fire and everybody had everybody pretty much ready to run down a wall, in a sense. What was the freedom speech? It was pretty much saying, just, just fight for each other. Well, whenever we get on the field, we got to do our job, simple as that, from offense, defense, special teams. And just where every time he talked, you can feel the passion there come out of every single word. And everyone bought in from the jump. Heard him tell you, too, that Florida State isn't going anywhere. What do you think he meant by that when he said that to you? He, I feel like he means by that as the, as the culture at, of this establishment, as in being unconquered, so to speak. Though it may, like even though there'll be adversity throughout a year, there'll be almost gonna be adversity in a year in the football team any type of way. But the thing that makes how I see it makes us unconquered. Even if something happens, even though there's adversity, we always find a way to fight through it and keep pushing forward. Derek, Derek. Derek. that that'll be your last time stepping on that field in that uniform. Well, in a home game. On the yeah, stump. yeah, in a home game. On, on the senior. As it set in, that that'll oh. be the last time. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, after you know the celebration on the field, I just, I just kind of stopped and just looked around. That's just like, it just it feels like it's been so fast, just like that. It was just like I've never really. It just feels like I never really, just take a look at everything. I just looked around. It's like I'm really, I'm really gonna miss this place. Like I've had so many memory, memories, you know, with coaches, teammates, people, students. It's just like soaking everything all in. It's just like, wow. Then a couple more. Derek, Derek did Derek. you really just kind of take in the crowd atmosphere for this game? You know, knowing that it was the last time, did you really just take in the crowd atmosphere too? Um, a little bit. I mean, when I first when we first started, I, my mind was my, my mind says, okay, we gotta do our job right then and there. After a while, when it started, you know, the game started to end a little bit. Started to just hear what everyone in the crowd is saying, getting into what they're saying, and just just. Soaking it all in. Derek, you said you weren't bothered by Jimbo leaving. Were you, were any, were you or any of the players bothered by the timing of that right before the last game of the year? Um, honestly, I was, um, in, a, in a sense, I wasn't that bothered by it. But for me, it's just like, like I said before, when you build a bond with somebody and then they leave, you're going to be affected some, somehow. Mm -hmm. And so at the, at the time, I, in my opinion, I feel like they kind of rushed him to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Because so, I feel like he wanted, as long as I feel like he wanted to coach the game, so like he could finish. Because that was a lot of main things he always told us. Like one of the lessons, always, no matter what, you always finish. And for him to, you know, be having to make that decision so early, and out of the coaches in the game, I feel like that kind of, I feel like that hurt him, and as well as hurt some a lot of players as well. Because I feel like they wanted him to coach this final game just to see it as a farewell type of thing. But at the end of the day, think of the, just, things just happen. Life, it's just life. You know, things that just happen. And you know, Coach Odell stepped in, and he did the bet. He did the best. The perfect. He showed a perfect example to lead the team. And I'm just happy for that. Derek, as somebody who maybe gets to look at it with a little hindsight, playing your last game here, what do you hope the next head coach brings to Florida State? What, what do you? What type of guy do you hope the Seminoles get? <clears throat> um. I just feel like the next head coach should show, you know, how I see it. Shows that he cares about his players. Shows that he has that he wants, you know, us to succeed. Always looking out for his play. I want. I just want to see him being players first, and then you know, coach second, in a sense. Just like I, just how I feel like, cause all the, while I've seen all these coaches 
Jim Lake, for example, as well as Coach Odell, they always thought about the players first. No matter what, if it would be class, it would be football, vice versa, or anything, they always focused on the players, make sure the players are doing what they got to do, make sure the players are getting what they need to better themselves. So as well as the coach who wants to, wants to push players to better themselves and make sure they do what they got to do, playing, winning, things like that. That's my number one thing to make sure he, he loves what he's doing. He's always trying to make the child wants to make players better themselves.